Hey guys, Doubt here. This video is from the last patch, so this is still the 3x3 goblin caves. But I still wanted to get this video out anyway, because it will still probably help on the 5x5 map. Bossing in goblin caves just got a little bit easier, now that the map is bigger again and both bosses are on the map. Less people will hear you fighting troll and cyclops, or they'll be split between both bosses so you'll be less likely to run into other players while doing the fights. But you still need to be careful because people will be wanting to steal the loot that you get from them. And here's a good example of that. This is a full gameplay where I kill a troll and then someone ran into the room. So I hope you all enjoy. All right, and basically every time I've loaded into the game while playing Ranger, I've mostly just bum rushed at the boss. This is one of the spawns where I just cleared these first two goblins and then I run straight to it. And I am getting close enough to make the goblins swing because that will delay them from actually running after me, which lets me get the door open. And there was a rogue in here. This was kind of an interesting interaction. Hello, you daddy. Hi. I didn't have my microphone recording sound during this time, so I basically just told him, hey, I'm going to go to boss, so uh, have fun. I also said since it's cave troll, um, I don't really want help because it kind of makes the boss a little weird sometimes to do with two people. I prefer to solo it. But if he wanted some loot after, I'd be down to share the loot pile. Oh, it's all right. You want to kill me? I'm trying to do rank to get easier lobbies because uh, I'm super sweaty. Then I was like, you want me to kill you? Yeah, sure. Now that that's done with, let's get back to the game. I'm going to put a trap down here just in case somebody tries to run in after we kill the cave troll, and then I'm going to start it. If you've never killed a cave troll before, if he screams, get to his side. If he picks up his hammer with both hands, run away and then get back close to him as soon as he slams to the ground. Other than that, you could just rotate left and it's pretty easy. You get one or two hits in between each swing, sometimes three, depending on your dexterity. But this boss doesn't take long to learn, honestly. I was getting a little nervous just based on how close to my trap I was. And the way that you move this boss around is that you want him to be facing the direction that you want him to move so that when he swings, he kind of pushes that way. And by doing that, you just sort of need to try to position yourself for the next swing rather than running away. Because if you're too far back, he'll just continually scream. You won't move him. He'll just keep screaming. And then as soon as we finished Cave Troll, I heard someone opening the door, so I was getting ready to grab the loot real quick and back up. But he walked right into our trap.
Thank you, good sir, for the luck on your chest. And to reshut the store, you kind of need to peek your head into it, so look downward when you get to the edge. And then, because I'm paranoid, I'm just going to place another trap before we start pulling. And I'm cutting through the boring parts of this just so you could see the loot that I'm getting at the ends of each pull. This wasn't the best run, but it was still pretty good. I should have dropped the longsword before the next pull, but I didn't realize I had it until about midway through, so I just dropped it after. And then after we walk into our own hunting trap, we just need to get out of here and survive. But so we run into the actual worst person to fight when I don't have any trap set, a plate fighter. I tried to charisma check and say like, hey, what's up, dude? You trying to get out of here? Blah, blah, blah. But nah, nah, he wanted to fight. And he's sprinting, so I'm just going to shut the door on his face and leave him with the goblin. And we're just going to go around the zone this way. And I see a portal, so I'm once again just going to shut the door in his face and see if I can just get to it. But there's two goblins over there, so he's able to get to me before I can. So once again, we're just going to shut the door in his face and run around the other way. As soon as the circle starts moving, there should be a portal that spawns right in the little circle that you see on the map. So that should be right below me. I'm just waiting on that because I don't want to drop down and then him be right there and then it just be really awkward and annoying. So we got our boss. We saved it from the wizard who tried to attack us. And then we got our escape. This game actually also pushed me into Pathfinder. And honestly, I just want this character to be level 30 so i can get anything multi-class worthy on my bard and i'm really excited for that but range is not my favorite class i'm gonna be honest
All right, and that's just going to be it for the day. I just wanted to show how a typical boss run would go. You're usually going to kill the boss. At least one person is going to come try to fight you, and then you spend the rest of the game just trying to get out with your loot. So I hope that you either enjoyed it or it was able to be a source of information for y'all. And if this video was either of those two things, please feel free to give it a like or a comment on the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you who do. Or please just consider subscribing to the channel for more upcoming content. Also, if you're wanting to join a community of other people who enjoy Dark and Darker and other video games, or you just want to keep up to date with me, I'm going to have my community discord linked in the description below. Feel free to click that, come by and say hey. And as always, I hope that each and every one of you have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Peace.